Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Also, make sure you guys get your cuties Christmas merch right now at HeyCuties.com. We've got these adorable pink blanket hoodies, these matching fuzzy socks, and hair scrunchies. But make sure you order before November 21st so you have a chance of winning a one-on-one -on -one video call with me. So what are you waiting for? Go grab the merch! Anyway, so it's a date role playing video. My parents decided to go out on a date and I got stuck with an evil babysitter. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Wow, dinner smells good. Is it some sort of special occasion tonight? What's going on? Should I check the calendar? I could have sworn none of us had birthdays this month, but I could have written it down wrong. Come to the table, Mackenzie. I want everything to be perfect for when your father gets home. He's been stressed at work lately and I made him his favorite food for dinner. I want him to have a relaxing dinner and talk to us. Don't you feel like you haven't had a real conversation with him in like ages? Oh, I hope he likes the food and wants to spend time with us. Oh, I'm sure he will, Mom. That is so sweet of you to do all this for him. I'll bet he's gonna really appreciate it and be so happy that he can come home to this food after the office. Hi, honey. Dinner's ready. How was your day? If you need any help with anything, come have a seat. Hang on. Uh, sorry, honey, but I really don't have time to chat. I need to text a few people. Actually, do you mind if I eat something later? I just still have some work to finish up in my office. There's just so much going on right now. I really should just get right back to it. Oh, uh, well... Actually, I was kind of hoping we could all have dinner together tonight. I made your favorite. Thanks, honey. I knew you'd understand. You're the best. You know that? I'll be upstairs. Please don't disturb me while I'm working. It will completely throw off my rhythm. Oh, well, I guess there's really no point of doing any of this anyways. Silly me. I should just stop trying. What's the point? He doesn't even notice. Aw, Mom. I'm sure he meant to notice. He's just so busy with so many other things right now. But I'm sure he never meant to make you feel bad. He loves you. He's just in his own little world right now with all of his work stuff. He didn't even notice what was going on. Oh, please don't be mad at him. I just knew he never meant to hurt you. Sure, sure, sweetheart, sure. Honey, I actually need to go out and meet a client last minute. Sorry about this. I should only be a couple of hours. Don't wait up for me. See, it's almost like he isn't even talking to me. He didn't even wait for me to respond. He just said what he said and then just left like I was a wall. Mom, come on. I'm sure he knows you're not a wall. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I've got to go do some homework right now. Will you be okay if I go up to my room? Of course, honey. Go to your homework. I didn't mean to involve you and me in your father's issues. We will work it out. Okay, mom. Don't dwell on this. Or if you do, please find a way to express yourself and work through it, all right? Oh, honey. You are wise beyond your years. I love you so much. Now go. Do your work and I'll come check on you in a little while, all right? All right, mom. Thank you. Hi, TikTok. It's me again. Another marriage crisis going on here. I've really been trying to make my marriage better, like really put effort into it. So I made this big surprise special dinner for my husband and it didn't even surprise him. Like he didn't even seem to notice. I just don't understand how someone who loves you can work all day on something for you and you can just ignore it. Like not even notice that it happened. Maybe he just doesn't love me anymore. I don't know. I mean, I know deep down he loves me, but I just wish he would show it more often, you know? I'm starting to feel invisible. Like he doesn't even see me and it really hurts my feelings. Has this ever happened to you guys? I just want to feel less alone, that's all. I wish you would come home one day and like really look into my eyes and care about me and how I'm feeling. I feel like he's barely even there. It's almost like I'm married to a ghost. And I don't want to be married to a ghost. That's just spooky. Don't you agree? Meanwhile, what are you watching on your phone there? My wife, she made a TikTok about me. She said she made a special dinner for me and I didn't even notice. I really need to start showing her more that I appreciate everything that she does for me. Well, whenever things go wrong between me and my wife, I do three things. I buy her flowers, I get her some chocolate, and I take her out for a date and a night at the motel. It always makes everything better. Really? If I do that, you think she'll feel better? Oh, definitely. It works like a charm every single time. All right, thanks for the advice. I'm gonna go try that. Later that same evening. Honey, I'm home and I've got a surprise for you. Really? A surprise for me? I bought you chocolates, flowers, and I'm gonna take you out on a nice fancy date tomorrow night and we're gonna spend the night at our motel. Oh, honey, that is so, so sweet of you. But what inspired you to do all of this? Well, to 
be honest, I saw your TikTok, and it made me realize that I haven't been showing you my appreciation enough, and letting you know how much I love you often enough, and so I wanted to do something special to make you feel better, and let you know that I care about you. Oh honey, that is just so nice. I felt bad about posting that TikTok, but I am now glad that I did, because it made this happen. I love you, and I am so excited for our date. Also, I suppose we should find a babysitter for Mackenzie tomorrow night, although I'm not sure how we could find one with such short notice. Well, there is this new service in town called Betty's Babysitters and they pride themselves as having babysitters ready on the go whenever you need them. I'll go send them an email right now. Oh, that is so perfect, honey. I am so glad you had the inside info for this. I'm sure it's all gonna work out now. Oh, they already wrote an email back. Apparently, they found us a babysitter named Miss Pettigrew. Wow, that's a cool name. I wonder if she's British, like Mary Poppins. Who knows? Maybe she is. <laughs> the next morning. Sky, my parents are going to be gone tonight and I have a babysitter, so I was thinking... Sleepover? Sleepover! Oh, you know I'm down, girly. Always let's do it. Can we watch that new Christmas show on Netflix tonight? It looks like it's going to be really good. Sure, Sky, we can watch whatever you want. Yay! Amazeballs! Later that night. Mackenzie, this is Miss Pettigrew. She's going to be your babysitter for tonight, okay? Hello, little girl. Hello, nice to meet you. My name's Mackenzie. All right, honey, have a fun night. Your father and I will see you in the morning, all right? Okay, Mom, love you. Why don't you go watch some television while I prepare us some dinner, all right, little girl? Oh, you can call me Mackenzie, you know? Yes, of course, little girl Mackenzie, sure thing. All right, let's see what's on TV. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. A wanted criminal is in our town posing as a babysitter. She is known around the country as the nefarious nanny. Whatever you do, do not let this woman into your house. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Ah! What's wrong, little girl? You're the nefarious nanny! Help! Help! Somebody help! There's a felon in my house! Alright, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tie you up now. I can't let a little girl like you blow my cover. Besides, I've seen plenty of stuff around this house that I'm gonna need to confiscate. You're staying in here for the night, little girl. Uh, how am I gonna get out of this? I wish I could just fly up into the sky. Sky! Sky will be coming over soon! Yes, Sky will save me! Meanwhile... I am so glad we decided to do this, honey. Me too. I wonder how things are working out with the new babysitter. Oh, uh, I'm sure everything is fine. Meanwhile... Mackenzie, are you home? Ooh, the new Christmas show! Sky, help me! So weird, it's a Christmas show, but everything is yellow. You would think they would throw in at least a little bit of red and green. Like, how can you make a Christmas show and not include the quintessential Christmas colors? What a strange choice. Maybe I should write them a letter. Sky, hello, it's me, your best friend. The evil babysitter locked me in here, help! I wonder why they're screaming in the background of the show, too. From me. Mm, I wonder if there's any snacks in this house. Also, where the heck is Mackenzie? Sky, I'm in here! Mackenzie? You didn't tell me we were playing hide and seek. We're not playing hide and seek. The babysitter's a wanted criminal and she locked me up in here. Oh my gosh, wow. Sorry, I was so distracted by that Christmas show. It was just such a bad movie. Sky, focus. Come on, we have to get out here and call the police. Meanwhile, maybe I'll just give Mackenzie a quick call. Just Check in and make sure everything is going all right. I guess it can't hurt. Hmm, she's not picking up the phone. She's probably just engrossed in whatever movie she's watching with her little friend, Sky. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Meanwhile... Help! Help! What's wrong? The nefarious nanny. She's, she's in my house. Who? She's a wanted felon. I saw it on news tonight. And she was my babysitter, and she's at our house. Oh, the nefarious nanny. She's at your house? Yes, keep up already. She locked me in a room. I don't have the energy to repeat this over and over again. Don't worry, we'll get right over there. Okay, good, because I'm afraid she's going to steal everything from my house before my parents get home. Meanwhile... Mackenzie, are you here? Penny Grow, is everything all right? I'll go check upstairs. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, where are you? Mrs. Pettigrew, I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea what would get into our daughter to tie you up like that. Mackenzie, tie her up? Yes, isn't that wild? Sure is. That's all right. You know how kids.
kids can be. All right, if you just pay me, I really need to get going. Of course, of course. Uh, here's some extra money because of the tying up. Again, I am so, so sorry for all of that. I'll definitely have a talk with Mackenzie about that. Speaking of which, where do you think she is? I really couldn't say. Anyways, gotta go. Hands up! No, I move! Mackenzie, you're in trouble, young lady. How could you tie up the babysitter? We didn't raise you that way. You certainly have a lot of explaining to do. But, Dad! Nope, Mackenzie. I'm afraid no amount of explaining will get you out of this. Tying someone up is not something we've raised you to do in this household. Now, I'd like you to call up Miss Pettigrew and apologize to her right now. Where is that criminal? Where is who? What criminal? The wanted villain, Miss Pettigrew! She's the nefarious nanny, Dad! Oh, the nefarious what now? It was on the news. She's wanted for about seven States for felonies. She only pretends to be a babysitter, but she's a criminal, Dad. Oh, dear. I thought that organization did a background check. Well, apparently it wasn't thorough enough if they did one. Where did she go? Well, I paid her and sent her on her way. I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this. If I did, I would have never let her go. Oh, no. I screwed this up. Why do I always screw everything up? I just want to have a nice romantic night out with my wife, but I can't seem to get anything right. Well, honey, our daughter did defend herself again a wanted criminal, I'd say that's a sign of us doing something really right, actually. Wow, yeah, I hadn't thought of it that way, but you're right. Good job, Mackenzie. You really saved the day. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and congratulations to LM Gaming for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. Love you so much, cuties.